Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. A Brooklyn cop and Seventh-day Adventist was derided as a scammer after she requested to be off on Saturdays to worship according to a lawsuit. When she signed on to the job in 2016, Joanne St. Jean claimed she was told she'd be able to adhere to her faith, a Christian sect that observed the Sabbath from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. Instead, she spent the next eight years being chastised by superiors who allegedly told her, quote, You're not Jewish. Why are you practicing like a, you're Jewish? St. Jean, 37, told the Post. Bosses told St. Jean there is no place for her in the police department because of her religion, according to the Manhattan Supreme Court. St. Jean, who lives in Baldwin, Long Island, said she joined the NYPD at age 29 because it had been a dream of hers, but that dream quickly turned into a nightmare. She was granted religious accommodations to have her required days off, but bosses told her other cops were angry a newbie would get a weekend day and began criticizing her beliefs. Quote, I don't understand your religion, one boss told her, according to court papers, your religion is messed up. A supervisor also said her religion was not for black people, and she started being assigned to work Saturdays, she said. As a result, she was forced to use her own accrued time off for the Sabbath, and has lost out on valuable overtime and transfers to specialized units, she claims in the legal filing. Her problems multiplied in 2020 when Sergeant Robin Abrams became her new boss, she contends. He allegedly told her that, quote, no cop wants to work with you because you are a scammer. That same year, her bosses decided she was absent without leave on a Saturday and sent Nassau County police officers to her Long Island home to harass her. She claims in the litigation, which seeks unspecified damages. Quote, when the officers arrived, they informed her that she was AWOL and stated that her supervisors had not been able to reach her. The suit states, this was preposterous as plaintiff was off on that day. She has filed four or five formal complaints, but they only led to more bullying, she said. St. Jean, who has three children ages 6, 14, and 16, hopes the lawsuit will force the NYPD to change. Quote, I'm asking for a change so nobody else who comes on has to deal with this, especially as a black woman, she said. Some days I get to work and I sit in my car and I think, should I go in? Can I do it? Quote, publicly, the NYPD champions their diversity as a tool necessary to protect the diverse population of New York City, said her attorney, John Scola. In practice, officers like Joanne St. Jean are denied advancement within the department and openly harassed for asserting their religious beliefs. The NYPD said in a statement it does not tolerate discrimination in any form. It declined to comment on pending litigation. Abrams couldn't be reached for comment. All of God's true people will be treated this way and worse. Quote, there is the highest reason for us to prize the true Sabbath and stand in its defense, for it is the sign which distinguishes the people of God from the world. The commandment that the world makes void is the one to which, for this very reason, God's people will give greater honor. It is when the unbelieving cast contempt upon the word of God that the faithful Caleb's are called for. It is then that they will stand firm at the post of duty, without parade and without swerving, because of reproach. The unbelieving spies stood ready to destroy Caleb. He saw the stones in the hands of those who had brought a false report, but this did not deter him. He had a message and he would bear it. The same spirit will be manifested today by those who are true to God. Maranatha, page 239. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.